All right, now that we've pretty much have gotten our nano filter installed, we want to show you how to get the nano installed with an ionizer. Now we showed you the method before using the included faucet, and we've shown you how the faucet can actually send uh, water directly from the nano. But now let's say you have a countertop ionizer, and you want to feed nano water up to that countertop ionizer. When this faucet comes to you, it's going to have a little tip on there. And you might be able to see on the video that there's some scrapes on the tip of here. The reason there is, and I'll show you what a brand new one looks like versus this one. See how this one has the tip and this one does not? So we just took a pliers and twisted back and forth until that tip came off. And we have these wonderful quick connect fittings. This is a 3 8 by quarter inch connection union and you'll simply take it and slip it over the tip until it bottoms out. And now that is a finished plumbing connection, believe it or not. Next, you'll take a piece of quarter inch tubing, slip it into the end of this, and this this uh, can be positioned any way you want. It can be turned all the way to the back, it can be turned to the front, sideways, the lever can be sideways. Now, we don't have an ionizer here for the demonstration, but just picture your ionizer sitting right here. Now your hose goes over to feed the inlet of the ionizer, your drain tube comes back from the ionizer, and your installation is done. Now, if, if your ionizer is a chance in max, basically you're going to open this water lever and leave it open at all times. Because the max won't start flowing water until you hit the power button. Then a valve will open and it will release the water. If you have one of our other style uh, countertops, then you will actually turn the water on and off with this lever here and you'll be able to control the water flow. So this is a really great way to set up a countertop ionizer and get the absolute best filtration under the sink with nothing being seen whatsoever. Now, there is a couple other little options to this that I want to show you right now. So again, this RO faucet is a great option. Some of you might decide you don't like it sticking up so much. And guess what? You can take a hacksaw and cut it way down here. Just cut this off. And you can affix this way down here. And then the tubing is small. So this can accommodate different looks in the kitchen as well. We also have another method. And again, this is more for a product that's working with the Max ionizer. If you have a max ionizer, you can get one of these caps that just cover a hole on the faucet. And these caps are all, they're available at Home Depot, and if you can't find them, call us, we'll get them for you. They come in many different colors and finishes to match your sink. And basically, we just drill a one quarter inch hole right in the center of the cap, and then we can take our tubing and feed water from the nano filter up from under the sink to the top of the sink. And the tubing will push into this hole and feed all the way down. <laughs> all right, we'll try this again. But, but everybody that's seeing this gets the point. So this will sit in the hole and the small tube will come over and feed over to the ionizer. So that's another method. We also have the G2 faucet that can work with this install. And we're not going to go over that today, but we'll just refer you to the G2 faucet install, which you can find under installation videos on the Chanson Water website. If you have a VS70 under sink ionizer, then it's even simpler because all you're going to do is take the connection for the main water line underneath your clean water. We'll use our adapter 
to bring the quarter inch tubing up to the larger tubing size, which is 3 8 and the VS70 tube plugs right into here, and that's it. Your VS70 faucet will work as normal from the top, and the nano filter will function great. Again, if you're using a VS70 or countertop ionizer with the nano, we highly recommend you use the holding tank along with it. If you have any questions or anything wasn't covered on this video, make sure to give us a call or send us an email at info at chanceandwater.com. Thanks for joining us.